I am having one major issue. You know what? Let me show you. Nothing happens. So when I press option space, nothing happens. And uh, why is that important? As you know, like I have made one video before, I use an app called Raycast, which helps me like browse through my computer search using just command space. Now Raycast do provide another feature, which is called AI. So I have mapped that to option space. So whenever I have to talk to an LLM like ChatGPT, Mixtrel, or any other which is available out there, Raycast has already enabled that on their AI feature. So I just press option space, start typing, and that was so easy for me to ask questions with an LLM. Instead of going through the route of clicking on a browser, opening a tab and then asking, and then always going through that tab, searching in the Chrome browser where I have opened that tab. It was very easy. It was always on top of uh, my screen. But recently what happened? So recently my yearly subscription got canceled and I had to renew it. Now the renew fees is almost $192 approximately $200 and I'm already paying for Claude 3 Pro and also paying for ChatGPT Pro which comes to like 20 bucks each. I'm paying already for two LMs. The next is $192 extra for Raycast. I do not want to do that. So what I thought, uh, how hard would it be if I can make my own electron based LLM, talk to LLM kind of app. I know ChatGPT has released their Mac app. but I don't know if I can map it to option space. I don't know how it works. I even have been invited to that. So instead of waiting for it, I do not want to reduce my productivity because I do use that AI feature a lot and it's in my muscle memory right now. So whenever I'm stuck on something, I just press option space. And right now, as you see, nothing is happening. Here is the plan. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let me show you. So what I need is in my MacBook, I have this tray icon. So I need to make a tray mac app right so i need to make a tray mac app and i do not want to invest a lot of time using like swift ui or any other mac os building framework i'm already familiar with electron js so i'll be using electron for this uh my writing is very bad so yeah electron i'll be using the app should run here uh the main the if you are building an mvp what i want is one it should run automatically when the computer starts run on login must this is must second it should be mapped to option space specifically for my case so option plus space should trigger this third is i should be able to type a message and ai yeah, should reply back the only llm which i am currently targeting is chat gpt so uh, gpt 4o api integration plus text sending and receiving so very basic app and it should always run fourth point is run on top so i do not want to open this app as a specific app and just keep looking where it is so for example if i am typing something on vs code the app should be above vs code so i can just ask questions and copy code paste on to vs code so very basic app which i want to build here so when i when the app is on the taskbar, I press option, command, option, sorry, option space, and it should show on the taskbar. This should be a text menu, and it should be what I have sent, and this is the reply which the AI will send. Very, very basic MVP, which I want, and this will solve 90% of my problems. This is what the use case I had with the Raycast API. So this will save me $192, not much of the effort I'm going to put here. I'm thinking to maybe do it in like, one or two hour so two hour let's say two hour two hour we can make this or no let's see so what we have we have a solid plan right we know what we want to do i have the the whole four five points which i want to make in this app and i know how to do it i can just set up the electron app i have created a mental map what i want to do so i'll sit here i'll open some music and we'll start coding for next 45 minutes Okay, so I have been coding for last 35 minutes and suddenly my ADHD kicked in. Uh, I have got this like a 
like this light which I can put on top of my monitor and it's packed I haven't used it and I thought it's getting late in the evening and uh, I could use something like this this will add much more value on when I'm recording something because the light will directly be on my like table plus I'll see how it looks because I haven't I haven't touched it yet so yeah this is this is a problem with the ADHD brain you can't stick to one thing for so long so yeah 35 minutes coding done I'll show you what what have been done but before that let's let's install this on my table Two benefits one my keyboard is visible to me very clearly and second well, it shines on my face so better for making these videos a good light source uh, to brighten up in the evening but yeah apart from that let's talk about what have been done in the app which i'm currently building okay so this is the project which i'm currently using the electron react boilerplate uh, the reason being one is it's the views are created in react which i'm like pretty confident in and it does provide some like performance changes the code repository is set up by themselves uh, the structure is nice and it has almost like 22,000 if you can see it has like 22,000 stars 23 almost so I think I would go with this then yeah yeah let's let's start with this The app is now set up and it's running on my menu bar right now. The thing which currently I'm fixing is I do not want to show the app icon on the taskbar of my Mac. It should only be a menu Mac like menu bar app. It's not a big task, but I think it will feel nice if I don't see the icon on the tab bar and it just runs on the background. So that's what currently I'm working on. And after this, I'll start working on the window, the main window of the app where I can type a message and the AI can reply. Finally, the menu bar, like it's fixed, the app is running and let me show you how the window looks like and I can just send a message and it will show me the reply from an AI. So mostly like 90% of the work is done. Now I, I, I'll just package it and we'll install after this. So 90% of the task is done, 10% uh, remaining. Let me just show you how it works. Okay, so here it how it works. If I press option space, I've done it. And as you can see, the app is visible here. So this is the app. Let me just make it a bit clear. So yeah, this is the app. Uh, let me. Okay, so you see, this is the window which can uh, open on option space. It opens up and option space, it goes down. And this I can drag across anywhere. It's running on top of the VS code. So if I click even outside, the window is like there. So I can say, hey, is this AI? And I have just sent a message, it replies with, see, here. Yes, I am an AI, how can I assist you today? So perfect, so we have this running. Now if I tap on this message, it automatically copied it and I can just paste it right, right to here. You see, this I have pasted it here. And uh, similarly, if I put some code, which say I want to check this dependency. Okay, let's say explain yeah, explain these dependencies one by one, right? And see, it started explaining all the dependencies one by one here. And the, the good thing is I can just drag this window anywhere in my screen and it's always handy, right? Option space, it's there, option space is gone. It runs on the background as well. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the progress which I have made on this app and this is what I wanted. So I technically have saved $192 by making this by myself. It took me like one and a half hour because right now it's 7.30. I started around 5.30. So yeah, almost two hours. The app is like, I'll just package it, install it on my machine. I am currently using a very hard coded OpenAI like uh, key directly in the app in the package so I cannot share it with anyone but for my use case it's perfect uh, in the next versions what I'm thinking is I would make this app as a, like I can show users a dialogue where they can insert their OpenAI key it 
currently uses uh, chat gpt 4o model by by default and i have planned some like interesting use cases like one thing is i want to make it a best ux like it's available instantly on your keyboard you can type messages um, you can have like custom gpts i already have uh, like apis for my app which is called ai sidekick so i can integrate that and i love making like mac apps because it it saves a lot of my time and it's very fun to fun to make basically so yeah this was a very quick video about uh, how i solved my own problem by building or how i saved basically 192 dollars and uh, yeah if you if you see uh, this is my setup in home i am currently in my home and uh, i moved here due to some family emergency i'll be going back in a couple of weeks uh, but uh, yeah i love coding here i have built a lot of apps sitting here in this table and uh, i'll be making a couple of more videos because uh, i want to get back to that rhythm of pushing more like youtube videos so yeah uh, see you soon uh, i just wanted to share making this devlog about this app there are a lot of things which have happened in the past few weeks uh, a lot of development on my personal projects a lot of changes on uh, on, on some of my projects like some of them have been monetized some of them i have closed working on so i'll make a dedicated video explaining all of those if you are here till end uh, i would love if you can just give me a feedback on this video specifically i'll make more of these kind of videos i'm also thinking of making kind of a travel video soon i'll be going somewhere in the mountains and coding from cafes and all let's see so yeah too much blabber i guess the work is done see you soon bye